Hi everyone and welcome back to our Google Drive training. In this lesson, we're going to look at some organization tips and tricks to help you with your Google Drive. One great organizational feature built into Google Drive is the ability to color folders. Now, this only applies to folders and not files. So here I am in the example project folder. Let's say that every single project includes these same five subfolders. Just as we talked about with emojis and our brains reading images faster than it reads text, the same can be true for color. So for example, I can say that in all of my project folders, I want the analyze subfolder to always be the color purple. So I right click on a folder, go down to change color, and then select a color for that folder. Repeat that process for all of the folders that you would like to add a color to. Now, the key with using color is to use it sparingly or at a minimum. Be strategic and have a purpose for the use of the color on the folders. If every single folder had a color, you may begin to lose the effect of color to help you quickly navigate around folders. Now, another idea with the use of color is to use color by project, or maybe it is by year or by quarter. So for example, the first quarter, all projects could be blue and the second quarter could be green and so on. In my example of coloring subfolders for each project, my eyes will begin to be trained to look for, let's say yellow, before I look for the word implement. This goes back to the other things that we have mentioned, which is using the system you come up with consistently. One last thing to note about these colors on the folders is that it is only visible to you and your account. So the teammates that have access to these folders do not see these colors. And again, this only applies to folders and not files. Now let's look at stars. We have briefly touched on this when looking at hover actions and the starred section over on the left side of our navigation. If you recall, we mentioned to use stars sparingly so that you don't end up with thousands of files and folders in the starred section. So think of this as the files you are working on currently and you need quick and easy access to but when the project is over or you no longer need it, make sure to remove the star. So to do this, you can hover over the folder or the file and then select the star. Repeat that process for other folders and files and then you can select starred in the left hand navigation. To remove a star, click the star and it will disappear. And there you go. Third tip we have for organizing your files and folders in Google Drive is the ability to move files and folders. Do you clean your house? Um, probably. So Google Drive houses your files, therefore needs a routine cleaning, which often means moving files and folders or consolidating them or archiving them. To do this, you can begin by right clicking and then select move to. First, you'll be given a suggestion of where to place this file. You can also select starred to reveal any starred folders, or you can select all locations. From here, you can navigate down into your folders or subfolders until you find the location where you want to move that file or folder. Notice from here, you do have the new folder button in the bottom left, and you have move buttons on the right and at the bottom. Another move option that may feel familiar to you is to use the drop down arrow beside of my drive. From there, you'll see a list of your folders and you can dive down into subfolders. Just like on typical desktops, you can now drag a file and move it over to one of those folders or subfolders. Now that you know how to move those folders, make sure to come up with a routine or a schedule of how often you will come in here and organize your drive. A good starting point is at a minimum twice a year. So that could be possibly a spring cleaning and then again in the fall. Maybe if you work by quarters, you could do it at the end of each quarter. Either way, come up with something so that you can keep this Google Drive manageable. 
Great, so now you know about colors, using stars, and moving files to organize or clean up your Google Drive. Meet me over in the next lesson where we talk about a few more tips to help you get organized. See you there. Hi everyone and welcome back to our Google Drive training. In this lesson, we're going to continue looking at ways to get organized with Google Drive. First up, we have document versions. Prior to using Google Drive, many users are used to labeling documents based off of their version. So let's say, for example, labeling this Google slide as V1 for version 1 and V2 for version 2 and so on. Some users mark versions by date. Depending on how many iterations of a document there are, you could end up with a lot of files to look through in your Google Drive. And if you're not using the naming tricks we talked about, it could be difficult to find the file you are looking for. Google Drive has the trick that you need to fix the situation and really streamline document versions. Let's look at this example file PDF. As I go to upload the file again, a warning is appearing that says this file already exists in this location in my Google Drive. It's asking if I want to replace the existing file or if I want to keep both. The great news is replacing the files won't change the share settings. Let that sink in for a second. Have you ever noticed that a flyer or an invitation, or maybe it's like an employee handbook, is sent out as a PDF by email or posted in the group chat? When changes are made, a new email or a new chat comes through with the latest version. But with this feature, by selecting Replace Existing File, that link and those share settings stay the same, but the file itself is automatically updated, so you don't have to resend out that file. And an added bonus for you, there's now only one single file in your drive as opposed to two files, which is more than likely going to grow to three or four or five or who knows how many in the coming years. With the replace existing file option selected, click upload. Once uploaded, right click on the file and now select manage versions. From here, you will see a list of the previous versions that are automatically numbered for you. Using the three dot menu on the right, you can select to download a specific version, keep the file forever, or delete a specific version. Speaking of keep forever, old versions may be deleted after 30 days or after 100 versions have been stored. So if you do need multiple versions to be kept in your drive, make sure that that keep forever is selected so it doesn't get deleted. And finally, what is also great from this window, you can upload a new version directly from here with the button at the top. And when you're done, you can select close. Great, so that is managing multiple versions of a document in Google Drive. Now let's take a look at adding some shortcuts to files. Let's say you are in charge of the financial side of a project by keeping track of possibly, let's say the budget or vendors, or maybe it's the inventory. While working on a team, there is one single file that the rest of your team needs access to either just to view or even possibly to edit. But on your side, this particular file fits within the folder structure that you've created. Let's say you log into work on this particular budget file and while doing so, there are a handful of other files in that same folder that you need to reference. Would you rather have all of your files together or some files in the team folder and everything else in your personal drive? More than likely, you're going to say it's easier if just everything is in one place. So a shortcut allows you to say, hey, this file lives in my folder in my drive that I have organized with all the colors and the tricks that I've learned, but I'm going to put a shortcut to this document inside the teams folder so that that way others can view it if they need it, but it's organized in the location that I want in my drive for quick and easy access. It's like allowing a file to live in multiple locations. So to do this, right click on a file or it could be a folder and then select add shortcut to drive. 
From here, you navigate to the folder where you want to move the item. For those of you working with Google Workspace for education or for business, you can also add these shortcuts to a shared drive. Great. So now the team can see this budget, but they do not see the rest of my folder or have everything else organized. The best part is I can go directly to my drive to work and I don't have to worry about digging into the team folders to find just the one file that I want. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.